All right, hello. Do some audio, maybe video, for first ever video blog post. All right, the face, the name here. Don't know if I'll use the uh, um, video because it's just me in a car driving to work. Um, eventually, I'd like something a little better than that, but we'll see. Um, today's topic. Just talking about being a comic. Um, a lot of times, a lot of times, what people will do, uh, like especially like my dad and family, they're like, "Oh, they're like, oh boy, do I have a joke for you?" And so, today's topic is like, should you use it? Um, well, that's really up to you. I mean, a lot of it depends on what joke is given to you. Usually, it's not the type of joke you can use. Um, like one, like my my father has been trying to pawn jokes off on me, and um, a couple of them were were obvious street jokes. And you don't want to use street jokes because, well, they're not yours, and anyone can look them up on the internet. Um, another one he told me. I can't remember all the jokes. Oh, what were they? I think one was like, what do you call i uh... I'm just making this up. I can't remember the first one. It was like, what do you call someone who wasn't on time in Oklahoma? Like, not sooner, they're later. Then the, uh, and then he was like, what do you call a father from Indiana? Who's your daddy? And then he said, what do you call a liar from New York? Hillary Clinton. And well, the first two are kind of like street, but uh, the third one I can't use because I'm mostly gonna be performing in front of a liberal crowd. So you just have to take uh, a lot of things into consideration like that. Um, another thing too, is it's just it's a lot of fun just to um, just to come up with your own jokes, and perform them, and have like your soul crushed on most of them, right? Like seven jokes, and like your favorite one just bombs, and then the one that you're kind of like, ah, oh, I hate this one, but I'll tell it anyway, gets a nice response. You're kind of like, huh? Okay, so I'm using this one now. But that doesn't mean that if someone um, comes up to me and is like, oh boy, you know, live vicariously in your stand-up through me and offers you some material, um, I mean, if it works, there's nothing wrong with it. Just, you know, be careful. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, like my, my, my father, he's not a stand-up comic. So... You know, he's not always, you know, he's not always entirely aware of exactly what's going to work. So you want to be careful about that. And just whenever someone pawns, tries to pawn their material off on you, like, oh no, you tell it. You know, just consider it. I mean, I always tell my dad, because he's trying, when he pawns jokes off of me, like, you know, you should just do stand up. You got all this material, why not? And you're like, ah, it's not for me. <laughs> it's alright, he's gonna, you know, I'll come up with some jokes probably that I can use eventually. But, you know. And a lot of people, they have their, oh, hey, someone tried to feed me jokes story. You know, you can always use that too. Alright, that's my very first video blog post. Um, if you see my face, hi. If you're just listening, uh, thanks for tuning in. See ya.